Dear students, I have already covered the topics such as the types of immune system and the different types of lymphoid organs in the previous lecture. Now, in this lecture, I am going to cover the lymphoid cells. So, lymphoid cells and lymphoid organs all together provide the immunity to our body. So, these lymphoid cells are also named as the immune cells. So just see this chart, how these are formed. So this is a chart showing the cells, tissues and organs of the immune system. So there are the two types of immune system. First is innate immune system and second is adaptive immune system. So cells of innate immune system which are present naturally, these are the phagocytes, mast cell, blood platelets and natural killer cells. Phagocytes are further of different types. These are kaffir cells in the liver and dust cells in the lung and polymorphonuclear granulocytes such as neutrophil, basophil and eosinophils which are a type of the blood cells or named as the white blood cells. So these are the type of the cells which are the cells of innate immune system. Then there are the cells of adaptive immune system which are antigen presenting cells lymphocytes and these lymphocytes are of two kinds B cells and T cells. B cells further divided into two different types of cells and T cell is also divided into different types of the cells. Then lymphoid tissues and in lymphoid tissues there are the two types of the organs primary lymphoid organs and secondary lymphoid organs. So both of these organs you have already studied in the previous lecture. So I am going to cover only the cells. So here the antigen presenting cells, lymphocytes, B cells and T cells. And in this case innate immune system, there are the neutrophil, basophil, eosinophil, natural killer cells, blood platelets, mast cell etc. So see the chart of cells of immune system. So generally both kind of the cells, lymphoid stem cells and myeloid progenitor, they originate from the same kind of cell known as the stem cell. And then in lymphoid stem cell, they are forming the lymphocytes and these lymphocytes are maybe forming the B cell progenitor, then T cell progenitor and natural killer cell. B cell progenitor is again forming the plasma cell and memory cell. T cell progenitor is forming the T helper cell and T cytotoxic cell and then there is the third one natural killer cell. In the myeloid progenitor these are the granulocytes, neutrophil, eosinophil and basophil and these are the type of the white blood cells. Then there are the mast cells and then monocytes and mon in monocytes they are forming the dendritic cells and macrophages. So these all are the immune cells. So you can tabulate them as RBC, platelets, megakaryocytes, leukocytes, mast cell, myeloid derived suppressor cells and natural killer cells. Red blood cells, these are known as erythrocytes. These are the most prolific immune system cell type in the blood and they develop from the stem cells in the red bone marrow or in the fetal liver and there is absence of the nucleus in the red blood cells. Platelets, these are produced in the bone marrow and these blood cells helps in the blood clotting. Megakaryocytes, basically a bone marrow cell which is essential for the blood clotting. Then granulocytes, which are a type of the leukocytes and contain the granules. So they may be further of different kinds such as neutrophil, basophil and eosinophil. Neutrophils are considered the first responders of the innate immune system. So neutrophils and macrophages circulate through the blood and both cells can eat bacteria as well as communicate with other immune cells. So neutrophils ingest microorganisms, eosinophils regulate the immune cell functions which are involved in the eradication of tumor cells and repair of damaged tissues 
Basophil releases the histamine when damaged and contributing to the body's inflammatory response. Monocytes, these are also a type of white blood cells. They play a role in adaptive immunity. So these are the pictures of neutrophil and basophil and eosinophil. You can see here the presence of different granules, different types of the granules and see the shape of the nucleus in different cells. So this is a pics of monocytes and macrophages. In both pics you can see the presence of lysosomes, phagosomes and presence of large nucleus. So then there are the lymphocytes which help the body to remember the previous invaders and recognize them if they come back to attack again. So B cells and T cells. So B cells generally develop in the bone marrow and T cells mature in the thymus. So B cells they produce antibodies and help alert the T lymphocytes. Whereas the T lymphocytes they destroy the compromised cells in the body and help alert other leukocytes. So B cells contain a receptor protein called the B cell receptors which allow them to bind to an antigen and initiate a specific response. So B lymphocytes create antibodies to counter the invading viruses, bacteria and toxins. T cells, a type of white blood cells that plays a significant role in immunity. These cells work with the macrophages and T cells scan the body for pathogens and destroy the body's own infected cells or cancerous cells. So they can be classified into two categories, cytotoxic T cells, also known as the killer T cells and helper T cells, which are like the coordinators. So they use special chemical messages to provide directions to other immune system. So helper T cell also assist in maturation of B cells and the memory B cells. Natural killer T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes are the examples of effector cells and non-effector cells are antigen presenting cells such as dendritic cells, regulatory T cells, tumor associated macrophages and myeloid derived suppressor cells. So next is myeloid derived suppressor cell. So these are a heterogeneous group of cells which are characterized by their myeloid origin. So macrophages, immature granulocytes and dendritic cells are the examples. So that they grow during infection, inflammation and even cancer. They are the body's natural immunosuppressant. They regulate the T cells, dendritic cells and macrophages functions. Then natural killer cells. These are a type of lymphocytes, a white blood cells and a member of the innate immune system. They exhibit cytotoxic properties and they play a role in the body's response against both viral infected cells and tumors. Macrophages, they patrol for pathogens and also remove the dead and dying cells. Mast cells, they have many jobs including helping to heal wounds and defend against pathogens. Mast cells release the histamine. Then antigen presenting cells such as macrophages, dendritic cells and B cells that can process proteins antigens into peptides. Dendritic cells mostly found in the parts of body that integrates with internal and external environments like the skin, stomach and lungs. Dendritic cells also act as the bridge between innate immunity and the adaptive immunity of the body. So these are the different types of the cells which provide immunity to our body. So you can see here in the diagrams that there are different types of the cells such as the red blood cells, platelets, 
मैक्रोफेजिस बी सेल्स टी सेल्स मेगा केरियोसाइट्स मोनोसाइट्स थाइमोसाइट्स नेचुरल किलर सेल्स डेंड्राइटिक सेल्स एंड मैक्रोफेजिस सो यू कैन राइट शॉर्ट नोट्स अबाउट दैम नाउ द क्वेश्चन बैंक यू शुड बी एबल टू गिव आंसर्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन गिव द नेम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट इम्यून सेल्स और लिम्फॉइड सेल्स वट इज द रोल ऑफ बी सेल्स एंड टी सेल्स डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन बी सेल्स एंड टी सेल्स गिव द स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ माइक्रोफेजिस मास्ट सेल्स एंड डेंड्राइटिक सेल्स गिव द फंक्शन ऑफ ए ग्रेनुलोसाइट्स एंड ग्रेनुलोसाइट्स इन द इम्यून सिस्टम thanks